Researchers at uh, Cal and Lawrence Livermore Lab have created a new kind of 3D printer. KPIX 5's John Ramos shows us not only can it produce everyday objects, it could one day be capable of manufacturing life itself. In this building at UC Berkeley, scientists are demonstrating something that even to them feels a little bit like magic. Normal 3D printers work by melting thin layers of plastic to create solid objects, but it's hard to get intricate designs to hold their form. But design engineers at Cal and Lawrence Livermore Lab got the idea of making 3D objects the way a CT scan creates a 3D image by hitting a patient with x-rays from many different directions. So we thought, well, let's reverse that process to create objects rather than imaging them, except we do it with light instead of with x-rays. It's called volumetric printing. Rotating images of an object are beamed through a conventional video projector. The light is focused on a slowly rotating cylinder of gooey resin containing plastic molecules with a light-sensitive activator. As light accumulates in desired areas, the gel begins to harden, and in about 30 seconds, a solid 3D object is created, not in layers, but all at once. In this one, you see something emerging out of nowhere. It's really magical. It, uh, it is fun to watch. Right now, the objects are rudimentary, but the technique opens a world of possibilities. It can create objects inside of other objects, or in this case, a handle around a metal screwdriver. But they're even imagining ways to use volumetric printing to arrange human cells into living organs, such as livers or kidneys. I think it might happen in the, the next decade, so we might actually see a functional organ um, ready to be implanted or transplanted. Yep. In the next decade? Yeah, I, I believe so. The labs hold the patent and are already discussing licensing the technology to the manufacturing industry as a new way to mass produce high quality plastic products in the future. But I think what's really important about it in terms of transitioning to a commercial product is that the hardware associated with this is very inexpensive. The scientists say it will be a long journey before common objects are manufactured this way. But when they are, it will be because the first steps were taken in labs like this. Now that the concept has been proven, the next challenge will be to increase the size, complexity, and quality of objects being manufactured. That should open the door to all kinds of commercial uses. At UC Berkeley, John Ramos, KPIX5. One more advantage of the process, because only the desired material hardens, the remaining resin is still usable, meaning there is almost zero waste.